Welcome to episode 21 of the Ready for More podcast. This whole thing of having things happen in your business. So protect your investment, anticipate what you can, be ahead of it, back up everything, and know where to get help. Welcome to the Ready for More podcast, where we share success strategies and stories for women business owners, entrepreneurs who are ready for more for yourself and for your business. I'm your host, Heather Cameron, and I'm here to help you to discover your unique path to profitability and success so you can achieve your more on your own terms. Are you ready for more? You can find today's show notes and links at www.igniteyourmarket.com slash ready for more. So today's podcast is titled, What Can Happen When You Drop Your Cell Phone Down an Elevator Shop? Yes, I dropped my cell phone down an elevator shaft. And what can we learn from this about how to protect our business? And there's a few more stories coming out of this because I've had the last couple of weeks, there's no podcast, you'll see there's a break in podcast because of all these kind of random things that happen that affect my business and affect my ability to produce. So what can you learn? So number one, the story is I was, I was in a storage facility where you need to have a coat empty to enter the elevator. And I had my phone positioned on a box so I could give my cousin who was helping me the code. And as the box rolled into the elevator, my phone bounced off the box, bounced down on the floor and managed to bounce through that like two inch crack down the elevator shaft. And as someone said, they probably really wanted to look at the look on my face of complete disbelief. What do I do? My phone, my smartphone is now down an elevator shaft. And to make it worse, my smartphone was brand new. I'd only had it for six weeks. And it was like, ah, what do I do now? How do I manage this kind of circumstances? And really, it was an investment. I got my smartphone back. It was an investment in a really good case. So I invested in an OtterBox. So if you, if you know your different cases for smartphones, OtterBoxes are known for their durability. And I can 100% attest to that as my smartphone bounced down an elevator shaft at least one story onto a, onto a um, cement floor. So number one was protecting my smartphone. So I asked the question to you, how have you protected your business from things like that happening? What are the unanticipated things that can happen that you need to protect in your business? And I have a second story about that in a minute. Um, what's key to your business? What's key to your operations? And the second part of this is once my smartphone was down the elevator shaft and I went and spoke to the staff, they don't have access to the elevator shaft because it's got so many um, hydraulics and other things, the only people who have access to it are the elevator technicians. So now my smartphone's down the elevator path, uh, the elevator shaft. Um, the likelihood of getting it back quickly, not so high. It was a Saturday. They know the elevators are serviced once a month, but they didn't know when they were coming in next. So now I need to react and have a contingency plan for this. So I had to go to my smartphone provider. I had to get a new SIM card. I had to find my old phone and charge it. I needed to get up and running as soon as possible so that I had my smartphone working. And it just demonstrates that things can happen unexpectedly. And trust me, we really don't expect to drop our phones down an elevator shaft. And we need to be resilient. We need to be able to react to that and think about and have that strategic or have that plan to get back up and running. So it took me a couple hours and a little bit of charging to get my smartphone back up and running. And I was back and only missed a few things and was able to get working and not be impeded by my smartphone. Now, the good news is they found it quite quickly. They had access to the elevator on the Wednesday. So I lost it on the Saturday, picked it up on the Wednesday. It was working because I protected it. The battery was still charged. A lot of people were amazed and my smartphone is great. And I didn't lose something that I had just, in, just invested in less than six weeks earlier. So that's one important part is thinking about how do you protect your business? What are those core things? What can you invest in to protect your business? Now, carrying this story on is shortly after dropping my smartphone on the Saturday, I got the flu on the Monday, which meant that I was knocked out. I was sleeping. I could hardly even think. And that affected my podcast. And this is where to be completely transparent, I wasn't where I needed to be. You know, my aim with my podcast is to have episodes pre-recorded, which I did have, but have them edited and ready to go at least two weeks in advance. 
That way, when something happens, my podcast continues on. I didn't have that. So a lesson learned for there is to anticipate we all can get sick. There can be an emergency in all our lives and to anticipate that so that we are ahead of the game. And my podcast is relatively new. This is something that I had hoped for, got behind over the Christmas holidays and didn't keep it up. So my commitment to my podcast listeners and myself is to fix that over the next week or so, so that podcasts are out on time and I have resilient, I have a backup plan. I have a, um, a cushion so that my podcast can keep running. I have a cushion so that my social media can keep running. I'm able to keep going, even though I might be sick in bed for a couple of weeks. In addition to that, I'm being very honest about it and talk about it, right? Like I got on Facebook in my Facebook group and I said, look, I'm sick. I'm back as soon as I can. This is what's going on in my life. And I believe that open and transparency creates a trust to people. So that's an important part about it. So anticipate these things. What would happen if I'm sick for a couple of days and I can't do it? What can I do in advance to make sure that doesn't have the same impact as it did on my business because I wasn't up to date on my podcast? Now, continuing my streak of bad luck, we're on to bad luck number three. Um, On Monday this last week, I came in ready to produce my podcast, ready to get going, signed on to my PC, did a restart of my PC for Norton and got completely locked out of everything. I got locked with my profile. I couldn't access any of my files. I could get onto my computer and I'm like, okay, now what? So I was able to get into Microsoft help. I had a fantastic tech person helping me from Microsoft, but the end result of it is my computer Windows installation was hosed. So they tried to reinstall my Windows installation and installation, and that didn't work. And my computer is now completely locked out. So I went from not being able to access my files to completely locked out. Now the wonderful, sorry, the the good news story of all this stuff is I have backed up my computer. So I didn't lose any data. My computer was backed up. So I'm able to function in the sense that I'll be able to get back up and running, but I wasn't able to work. It's amazing how much we are attached to our computer. And the morals or the, or the reality that came out of this is that number one, I have everything backed up. So there wasn't a panic. And it's really important if you're not backing up your computer and it's containing all your thought and all your intellectual property and everything, back it up. Back it up locally on a drive, invest in that, or back it up in the cloud, but back up your computer, protect your business. The second part was find the help you need. Be persistent. Took me probably about two and a half hours to get to a Microsoft person who could help me. And they were amazing. So I had to find the right phone number. I had to get through all the stupid menus that they want because they really don't want to talk to you unless they have to. Um, And once I got through all that, I had someone who called me for like four days as we tried to problem solve this. Now, the reality of this problem solving was that I had to buy a new laptop. My old laptop is not going to come back. I can't risk restarting it and losing some other information. Everything's backed up, but it took time. So then again, there's that resilience in your business. I was able to borrow a laptop from somebody for the short term, um, but still couldn't access all my files and get everything up and running. And if any of you have ever set up a new laptop, it takes a bit of time. And I go into a bit of an analyst by paralysis, paralysis analysis. Um, the engineering kicks in and I start comparing and it takes me longer than just somebody who might spontaneously go and buy the laptop. But I've got a new laptop. I'm up and running. <laughs> my cell phone's back. I'm feeling healthy. Um, and I wanted to do this podcast to explain why I've kind of missed two weeks of podcasts and to also really bring into that you need to think strategically about protecting your business. You want to invest in that minimal protection and backing up your files, having, you know, if smartphones part of your business, have something protective around it, have a backup plan for when some of your technology doesn't work. I had two of my biggest pieces of technology, my computer and my smartphone have problems in a very short period of time. The other thing is to anticipate ahead of time What if I'm sick for a couple of days? How do I build resilience in my business? How do I keep myself ahead of the game so that when I'm sick, I'm not completely detached from my business? And then how do I catch up, right? This week for me is a catch up week. It's to get my podcast going for the next 
couple of weeks. It's to get my social media going, to get everything back. It's a catch-up week to talk to my list. So I had two bad weeks, <laughs> unfortunate weeks, let's put it that way, of being sick, of losing my smartphone, of, of having my computer die on me. I need to have a recovery plan. So that's another part. So protect your investment, anticipate what's going to happen, have a recovery plan, back up everything, back up frequently. If you don't know how to do it, please contact someone to help you set up your backup on your computer. Like I said, whether you back up into the cloud or whether you back up onto your drive and back up your phone. See, that was another issue when I dropped my smartphone is I didn't actually have phone numbers that were in my smartphone somewhere else. So now we rely, you know, long ago, feeling kind of old here for us 40 plus women. Long ago, I used to memorize phone numbers. Now I rely on my phone and I had someone coming from out of town. I didn't necessarily have access to their phone number somewhere else because I don't have my smartphone synced and backed up the right way. Another thing I need to fix. So keep that back up. Important to know that. And the last one is know where to get help. I was persistent. I was polite, but I was persistent and I managed to get into Microsoft to get the help I needed. Now, they couldn't resolve my problem. I still will try to recover my old PC so that I can have it as a backup, but I'm not going to do that until I have everything up and running on my new PC. But they were able to help me. Um, I got the right people able to help me to make a decision on buying the right PC. You know, I went to a couple of stores and they said, no, this is a better deal for what you need. Go there. Right. So approach and get the right help and get that backed up. So those are kind of the four or five things I wanted to share about this whole thing of having things happen in your business. So protect your investment, anticipate what you can, be ahead of it, back up everything, and know where to get help. That will build resiliency into your business. That's some of the stuff that I need to work on to build more resilience into my own business. So that's your tip for the week. I'm so glad that you're listening to the podcast. If you'd like to listen to other episodes, please do so. If you'd like to join the group, um, ready for more women business circles, please come and join it. It's growing and it's a place where we can really help each other grow our businesses, manage things like crises and support where we're going. Thank you very much. And I'll be back next week. Thank you for listening to this episode of the ready for more podcast. You can find today's show notes and links at www.igniteyourmarket.com slash ready for more. My name is Heather Cameron. I'm your podcast host. And when I'm not hosting this podcast, I'm busy working with entrepreneurial women like you who are ready for more in their business and are looking to get focused on their own unique path to success. You can find more about myself and my programs at www.igniteyourmarket.com. If you like what you heard, feel free to rate, review, and share with your friends. And don't miss an episode by subscribing. Until next time, remember, now is the best time to focus on your more and be inspired by your own unique gifts.